and they became slaves just like the rest of us. In the same way that uh, the, the Purepechas, they thought that, okay, uh, we won't fight the Spaniards uh, because they've shown you know, that they can spread the, the, this disease that kills uh, people and they have uh, this situation that you just can't defeat. The, the Purepechas should have fought because they ended up just as bad as the rest of us. So that's that one. And then um, the last one here is uh, Anonimo uh, Mexicano. Again, there's a, a lot of um, journals, uh, testimonies, uh, things uh, that were written in the, in the 1500s uh, as sources for us to study. But of course, we're not going to be the ones who are studying it. It's going to be white people or Euro European whites who are doing this. Most of our people uh, in Mexico and Central America and the rest of our continent, they're not interested in this. A lot of them are studying the Renaissance or they're, they're studying uh, you know, hip hop music or they're studying anything other than all of this because they've been somehow trained to stay away from this. There's something dangerous about this knowledge. This knowledge basically will force you to challenge white supremacy. Will force you to challenge the lies all around us. Will force you to say, hey, wait a minute, this is my continent. Forget the borders, the divisions. Hey, wait a minute, that's our oil that's being sucked out of the ground, our, our woods that are being torn down. That's our river that's being polluted. And I'm paying rent on my own land. Meanwhile, somebody comes over from England uh, uh, today and they're instantly uh, part of the power structure and become instantly wealthy. What is going on here? So we, get, we, we need to stop acting like ignorant slaves and we got to acquire knowledge so that you know, we can look at reality and have a sense of dignity about ourselves, a sense of honor plan for the future, at least we can liberate our people instead of planning to figure out how we can decimate our own people, how we can kill them off so, that, so we can all have blonde, blue-eyed grandchildren and great-grandchildren, none of these brown people around. That's what's behind it. See, we got to talk, talk really hard, hard about this, about the cowardice and the treason of our people about the ignorance of our people, about how hate for our own people is not being taught by white supremacists, but it's being taught by mom and dad and grandma and grandpa. But again, who taught them and who taught them and who taught them? And you trace it all back to 1492 because it's been killings and genocide and enslavements and going to uh, what Carlos was talking about here in uh, the missions. So yeah, this is a challenge to all of you who are in the room, all of you who are going to be watching this. You got to do something. You can't just sit on, on your couch. You can't just you know, ignore everything around you. See, now I've fed you this. You already know, so you can't pretend you didn't know. See, because it says you're going to be saying something to yourself about who you are as a human being. If you do nothing, you can just turn around and but you've just negated your own existence. You've nullified yourself as a human being. So go to our, our website. There's a lot of materials there to read. There's a long list of books that we recommend. And uh, there's a lot of YouTubes that we're putting on there in terms of these lectures. Uh, some of them, you know, watch them again and again, read the material again and again. We know, we know it's complicated. We're presenting to you a lot of very complicated things and we're trying to put them in a simple way that you can at least grab and begin. So grab and begin. Thank you.